I visited the Oris booth at Watchers Wonders this year. Uh, their booth, along with IWC's booths, were the best booths within the whole show. They were massively on brand. They were much more fun and less pretentious than pretty much everyone else's booths. And within Oris's booths, obviously they had the new watches for this year. Uh, one watch stood out as being awesome. And that's this thing, the Wings of Hope. It was embargoed at Watchers of Wonders, hence why I didn't talk about it, but now, now we can. This is called the Wings of Hope, and I didn't know about its charitable connection, but the Wings of Hope are a US-based aeronautical humanitarian organization that have twice been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. They use aviation to provide medical support for remote and vulnerable communities around the world. These guys in 2021 helped over 65,000 people around the world who needed medical support. So not only is this an awesome looking watch, but this is doing good by supporting the Wings of Hope. There are two versions of this watch. We have the steel version, which is a 40 millimeter, and then we have an 18 carat yellow gold version, which is in 38 millimeters. They are both limited edition, which is a shame because I think this could be a stable part of the Oris collection. For me, this is as awesome as a Diver 65. The two different models come at different rates of limited edition. The steel version, there are a thousand pieces, which is a sizable amount. But with the gold, there are only 100 pieces. The gold is available right now in July, but the steel version, unfortunately, we have to wait until October for it to be available. I checked out both the gold and the steel version. The gold version is awesome. It looks brilliant in gold and the 38 millimeters size is a really nice size. But I also get hands on with the steel version for two reasons. One. Um, there are many more of these, but two, I feel like steel is more of an Oris metal. I see Oris as an approachable brand, a, a brand that is accessible financially and physically for a lot of people. Um, and so steel, I just feel is more of an Oris kind of metal. The specs on this thing, it is a 40 millimeter wide case, but it doesn't wear as large as I expected for a 40 millimeter wide case. And I think that's down to the fact that it has such a domed crystal and therefore it gives the sense that the dial isn't as large as it actually is. Most watches that are 40 millimeters wide with such a small bezel or without a non-rotating bezel, usually the dial is quite overpowering, but I don't find that in this case. The dial is an off-white color, kind of quite a creamy color, which is a nice contrast to then the bluey greeny numerals, which are loomed and also the hands are loomed as well. Although I did notice that the loom on the hand shines so much brighter than the loom on the numbers, which isn't a mass, it's not, it's not an issue to be fair. Uh, just. Just an observation, really. The crown is oversized and it is a screw down crown and it has 50 meters of water resistance. On the back, we have a display case back, which is also sapphire crystal, displaying the automatic movement, which is developed by Oris themselves. It's the caliber 401. It's highly anti-magnetic and it's accurate to minus three to plus five seconds a day, which is within COSC tolerances, although it isn't COSC certified. The power reserve is an insane 120 hours. I don't usually mention warranties when it comes to watches, um, but this has a 10 year warranty with Oris, which is, um, again, insane. The price is 3,300 Swiss francs. The gold version for those of you who are interested, very similar specs, although it's a 38 millimeter wide case. The hands are gold. The, the case is obviously 18 karat yellow gold. The price is 15,500 Swiss francs. My only gripe, and this is a tiny gripe, and one thing that usually Oris excels at is this is available in October, which is annoying. Oris are usually brilliant at launching a watch, and then the customers are able to go out and buy it straight away. That's usually how they do it. I think it's interesting that Oris are doing gold as well, solid gold. Uh, but I'm gonna save that conversation of why I think that's happening for when I do a video on this guy. Two-tone Aquis. I think something's going on. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this watch. Guys, if you wanna give me a follow on Instagram, at Bark and Jack, if you wanna follow my personal stuff, my personal photography things, it's got nothing to do with watches, it's just my photography, it's at I am Bark. If you wanna follow the podcast that I'm part of, it's about effing time. And if you wanna check out the watch straps, jump over to barkandjack.com. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.